Can you describe your thesis in two minutes? Like us, stars are born, they mature, and eventually they die. Some of them die in brilliant explosions called supernovae. My thesis concerns thermonuclear or type 1a supernovae. We don't really know what kind of star it is that leads to these explosions, which is kind of embarrassing. We're pretty sure the exploding star is a white dwarf made up of carbon and oxygen. These are the cores of old stars that have burned up all their hydrogen and helium. However, these white dwarfs are stable, and if you leave them alone, they'll just cool off, like embers, for all eternity. So we think the white dwarf is in a binary system, where it can steal matter from its companion star. This leads to a buildup of pressure and temperature in the core until the carbon is ignited and triggers a thermonuclear explosion. This companion star could be a regular star like our sun, a red giant or supergiant, or another white dwarf. One way to tell these models apart is by measuring the rates at which type 1a supernovae explode at different ages of the universe. So, using telescopes such as the 8.2 meter Subaru telescope in Hawaii and the Hubble Space Telescope, I search for these supernovae and measure the rates. So far, I've discovered some of the farthest and oldest such supernovae ever observed some of which exploded over 10 billion years ago. My rate measurements favor a second white dwarf as the binary companion, but the issue is far from settled. These explosions are widely used to measure distances to galaxies, a type of measurement that led to the discovery that the universe's expansion was accelerating. This discovery was recognized with the Nobel Prize in Physics for 2011. My name is Or Grau, and I'm a PhD student at Tel Aviv University, Israel, and the American Museum of Natural History in New York. <laughs>